they're highlighting with sur- uh, surgical precision of, you know, she's like negative five minutes over her time of speaking. And then, you know, they start discussing of how, you know, you know, bad natured this is and, you know, trying to sort of paint and come from an angle of the President Trump campaign as like having a lot of secrets behind the closed doors. And then it starts showing, you know, negative six minutes and, you know, Trump needs to speak, you know, hurry up and ooh, and we kind of you know, really bad secret for President Trump. But what they don't understand that, it, it, like, it doesn't matter because what matters more is uh, substance and having a much more powerful substantive argument. So having, like, a policy where you can change the mind of your voters is much more important and worthy in comparison to nitpicking and, you know, surgically trying to uh, strategize that, ooh, you know, they're having a lot of insidious deceitfulness inside the back doors in the Trump campaign. Ooh, they're all spooky and evil, which is really, you know, ridiculous and really highlights the absurdity and the low quality and the very powerful um, weakness that, you know, um, the Harris campaign is in and how desperate MSNBC and CNN is to try to make that argument. Because, you know, if you're with your friends or you're with your family every day, you know, you don't need to be too polite. You feel very comfortable and happy with each other. This is you know, their circle, this is your team. And ultimately, you know, your sister's like, you know, hurry up with the computer. You know, I need to write my, um, my biography for my homework. You know, mom, tell them, get off the computer already. You know, um, it's just very silly, very petty. They're grasping at straws. And ultimately, uh, you know, Kamala Harris doesn't have any substantive argument against President Trump, especially now that RFK Jr. has came out to endorse and totally, um, you know, stolen the entire news cycle after what was supposed to be a spectacular DNC, uh, which was filled with a lot of empty platitudes. And they mentioned Trump like 178 times um, Basically, it's just not going to work.